hello 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 everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is katie and welcome um i know my makeup's already done this isn't gonna be a rant slash do my makeup type of video it's mostly just gonna be telling you what's going on in my life and ranting a little bit um all the um the details about my makeup will be down in the description box down below also i have to shout out this jaclyn hill highlight um it's the one that comes i think it's called her accent light highlight i love it this is the shade sparks and it just looks so pretty so let's get started so as you guys know actually let's start off with something more happy so i started a new job i work at a dealership now um i actually really like it not i don't like all the people but i definitely like it um yeah I get along with everyone I work with except for this one girl, but I mean, if I, I feel like I'm making friends there, so that's always good. And it's a good a work it's a good work environment, except when I'm with that that girl. But that's what's been really going on in my life, like for me personally. Now let's go on to my dogs. So as you guys know, I have a dachshund and a uh another dog okay so you guys know that i went through a breeder to get luna this is luna she's getting big and i love it see luna and um she is about to be four months old so she'll be a four months old four months old on the 27th and so she ca she got here on March 12th and I started noticing things about her, you know, same thing with my boyfriend. We just started noticing things. For instance, her ears are, um, there's like a little cartilage that holds them up a little bit. Docks and ears just flat, just are completely down. So you can tell the difference between, you can tell the difference between the, both of their ears. Second of all, her ears aren't long, as long as a dachshund should be, even when they're a puppy. Even when they're a puppy, a dachshund's ear should be down to their jawbone. Hers are not. She's still in her teething phase. E um, hers are not. They're just like down. Her arms are longer than a dachshund's. You know how a hot dog, they have those really tiny arms. Um, hers are longer. The more I looked at her, the more I saw a chihuahua in her. Which, honestly, I love her no matter what, but I think that she is a Chewini. Now, um, I have an appointment set. Today is the 21st, and I have an appointment set for her on Tuesday, March 23rd, for a DNA test. Not that that'll change anything. I love Luna. She has a huge part of my heart. Um... So, the more I started noticing these things, it was just like, okay, well, I need to find out. She even has the temperament of a chihuahua. So, I called the breeder, and I asked him, I was like, does she have any chihuahua in her? Did you breed with a dachshund that has some chihuahua in them? They said, no, she's a purebred. I said, okay, well, I think that she's a chewini. And she had her brother call me, and basically, he was just telling me that I'm a liar right so I'm saying I'm saying these things and I was like I have a dachshund she looks nothing like my current dachshund I'm not even talking about color her color looks like his except she her, she, her coat is Meryl so she has a lot of white and mixed in but she's he's like well maybe that breeder lied too and I said no he's 100% dachshund I got him tested and the test results came back that he is a 100% short haired because his, even though he has long hair one of his parents was a short-haired, one was a long-haired. I kept telling him, you might not have been aware that your dachshunds had chihuahua in them if you got them second-hand, right? Not second-hand, if, like if someone was, if they were someone's dogs before you bought them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if that's the case, you know, I understand things happen, you might have, you might not have known. He kept saying, well, then how is that my fault? And I said, I didn't say it was your fault, I said it could be something that you were unaware of. And he just kept saying, well, how is that my fault? And like... I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying the, you're, the, the mom and the dad, you bought them, right? You might not have known mom had chihuahua in her. Wait, mom had chihuahua in her. That, 
then that's not your fault. I'm just saying what is your fault is that before writing purebred dachshund in the description, you should have given them a test to know that they were full bred so you know what you're selling. That's all I'm trying to say. Hi, baby. So he kept saying, he was like insulting me. Like, I can't trust anyone from New Jersey. I'm glad there's not more people like you in the world. Like, more people like what? A person that cares about what kind of heritage her dog is? Like, then he tried to accuse me of stealing her, which I didn't. I had informed her that, you know, I understand I need to send the money today. That's fine. I'm going to send it. I just need to, I'm at work, so I can't call the bank right now to let them know. Because I don't want them stopping my card. That was my fear. I've had my card put on hold for spending a dollar. So I'm very careful about that, you know. And she said, okay, that's fine. So I said, okay, like, we have no problems. But when I called saying that she's a Chawini, they were like, well, you tried to steal him. No, I didn't. She said, well, how would you send the money then? I called my fucking bank. Like, what are you talking about? So then we keep going, right? And, oh, this is eyeshadow, by the way. Like, I'm okay. But anyway, so we keep going. And she, he just kept attacking me, saying, well, you're not going to find anything. I was like, uh, dude, I'm 85% sure that she's a Ch that she's a Chewini. And then he said, well, I'm 99% sure that she's a, a Dachshund. So I, and I said to him, you still have that 1%, don't you? That, you, that you're unsure if you okay if you're a breeder and you say that that you're selling do, uh, purebred docks and puppies you need to be 101 percent sure that that's what you're selling people straight up because what what i i'm not gonna enter her in, what if i wanted to enter her into a dog show which i don't but with a purebred i would have that option if i wanted to if, even if I wanted to breed her, which I don't, I, I don't want to breed her, I couldn't breed her with a, um, a purebred dachshund that is registered because she's not purebred. Do you see what I'm saying? So I kept saying to him, you know, if I just, I didn't get what I paid for, you know? And he's like, well, then return her. I was like, I'm not going to return her. She's uh, attached to me. She's attached to Brownie. That, that would be cool. And then he kept comparing her to something on Amazon that you buy, saying, well, you know, if you if you bought something from Amazon and you don't like the product, you'd be made to return it. It's not that I don't like the product. I love Luna, okay? I love her so much. Yes, I love you, Luna. I love her so much. That's not the issue. Oh, that's not the issue. The issue is, is that I wanted a purebred dachshund. You know what I'm saying? So when I got a Chewini... Mm. It didn't change anything. It's just, I want to know so I know what I have. Because dachshunds and chewinis have some different health issues that I need to look, I need to, um, um, I need to look into. I need to get her tested for these health issues so I know that she's healthy. Do you see what I'm saying? So, the fact that you kept comparing her to an inanimate object instead of a living thing really, really rubbed me the wrong way. It, like, 100% rubbed me the wrong way. Then, for you to keep comparing her to other things, like if you own a t-shirt store and someone didn't like the product, and I would make them a return. Honestly, I plan on opening my own makeup brand. If I really, if you really didn't like one of my products, I would have you donate it. I wouldn't have you send it back. Period. That's one of the things I love so much about Chewy for dog stuff. Instead of having you return the item, they they give you a, a, a donate form so you can donate it to a shelter. So then I had to come up with analogies to give him because he wasn't fucking understanding what I was saying, which was pissing me off because it's not like we were speaking two different languages. We were both speaking the same language. He's from fucking Kentucky, okay? So he speaks English. Now... Like, if there was a language barrier, I would understand why he was misunderstanding me, but there was no language barrier at all. So, anyway, so say you bought a car, and the salesman said it was in perfect condition, everything was perfect, and then the engine crapped out, and you got stranded on the side of the road. You'd be pissed, right? He said, I would have done my research first. What research, bro? The, 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 um, the real, not the realtor, fuck my life. The car, the car salesman is supposed to tell you everything that's wrong with the car. 100%. They're supposed to tell you if the transmission needs work, if the engine, if something's wrong with the engine, if, you know, the car has low tire pressure, everything. You're supposed to know everything about the car before you buy it, right? He didn't understand that. I would have done my research. Told me I should have fucking done my research. That's what I had you for. 
You claimed it was a, a purebred dachshund, and it's not. She is not a purebred dachshund. I fucking know it because, like, I'll put a picture of both of them in my thumbnail, but you'll see Luna and Brownie, and they, they, they have some similarities with, like, their coloring, and she has the back of a dachshund. But she does not look like a fucking dachshund. Like, I'm serious. It's, like, really aggravating to me because you fucking lied to me. Not that I don't love her any, any less than I love Brownie. I love them both the same. But the thing is, though, is that when I kept giving him these analogies, he just kept comparing her to a thing, like a thing, like a t-shirt or a product from Amazon, something like that. And I kept trying to explain to him what it was like to not be completely honest with the person that you're, you're selling something to. You know what I'm saying? So I, I even said, um, well, what if you were buying a house and you put all the money down, the house is yours, and the realtor didn't tell you that someone died in it and you found that out later? Legally, they have to disclose all of that information to you. Because the house is now a crime scene. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's it's like legal. When I told him, you know I could sue you for this, right? And he says, you can't sue me. You can only sue the A, K, C, whatever the fuck. Whatever the, where the, uh, pup, the litter is registered under. And I said, no, I can sue you. You registered them under that, but they don't know if they're a full-bred dachshund. It's your job to look that up to know what you're selling. It's your job to be honest with your, your clientele. And then for him to say, well, if you wanted a dachshund, why didn't you get a dachshund? That's what I fucking thought I got. Are you stupid? Like, seriously. Oh, hi, baby. I literally thought I was getting a dachshund. I love you so much. That's why I put money down on her. You know what I'm... Oh, hi, baby. That's why I put money down on her. You know what I'm saying? So for you to say, well, then you should have gone somewhere else. Why would I go somewhere else if you were um, advertising that she's a full dachshund? Hi, baby. Oh, she loves to cuddle. I love it so much. Now, with all that, with all that set aside, so I was like, okay. With all that said and done, he was just like, I want the number for your vet. So I said, okay. Well, whatever. Okay. And I, I want to know why. You know, even though I was like, okay, what, uh, whatever about it. Like, why do you want the number from the vet? He's just like, I just want the number. I said, okay. Well, um, I'll make an appointment. And after she checks her out, I'll tell her to call you. Like, or I'll give you her number or whatever. He's like, no, I want the number before, I want her to call me before she's seen. I'm thinking to myself, I was like, what the fuck is that going to do? Like, how is she going to know whether or not she's a Chewini or not if she's never seen her before or he? Um, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, well, I want to tell her my side of the story. I was like, dude, I'm not going to mention you. But if you want me to mention you, I will. And he's like, oh, okay, well then, fine. After she sees her, you know, have her call me. I said, okay, whatever. So then we keep talking. And um, by the way, I was, this was during my lunch break. I took a fucking hour talking to this asshole. Um, <clears throat> so then we keep talking, we keep talking. And he just, it's like he's not understanding. And, um, and finally we hang up the phone and then he leaves me a voicemail. He leaves me a fucking voicemail. And it's basically saying, Hi, Katie. This is so and so. Um, so I I called the place that the the litter was registered. She's on my lap. I love it. The breeder the litter was registered under, and they said that no DNA test will prove that she's not a dachshund. You would need to send us pictures. You need to send them pictures so they can, you know, give you their fi the final verdict. And I'm thinking to myself, I was like, what? You're being nice, and he was so nice on the voicemail too. He's like, you're being nice to me now because you researched that I can actually sue you. Not the place that the, their litter is registered under. That's not their problem. So, me being me, I made an appointment at the vet anyway for the DNA test, and she's getting it on Tuesday. I could have been a real asshole and... Talk to a lawyer anyway, like right away, but I didn't. I called you to give you the benefit of the doubt that you were going to tell me the truth. Now you you uh, call me and give me all this bullshit about call, um, sending pictures to the per the people that the the litter is registered under. But and if she's a Chewini, I'll work with you. 
So, hmm. Let me see. You didn't believe me, but now you're saying if she's a Chewini, I'll work with you. So are you not 99% sure anymore? Um, or are you just trying to butter me up so I won't sue you? I kept telling him, you might not know, you might not have known it, but if she's not a full bred doc, a full bred doc, you and I are going to have a different conversation. I was completely respectful the whole time I was on the phone, talk, speaking like an adult. He was the one throwing insults at me, not the other way around. All right. Now, to top it all off, you're saying that you're treating her like she's a thing. Not to mention, when she got here, she smelled like straight up feces. Like, feces to the max. I couldn't even give her kisses because she smelled so bad. So... Are you mis did you mistreat her while she was there and in that and that's it because you you didn't seem like you gave a shit about her after she got into the car with the transporter like no shit at all so I don't know I don't know but then he kept saying well return her I could have gotten more for her you really do see her as a dollar sign don't you instead of a living thing that's fucked up that's like really fucked up because to me, she's not a dollar sign. To me, she's part of my family. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting really red because I'm getting really angry. And <sighs> hi guys, editing Katie here. So I forgot to add into the story that I offered him 200 extra dollars. It 200 extra dollars if Luna ends up being a full bred dachshund. That's how sure I am. I said. You, not only will you get your thousand, but I will give you two hundred extra dollars. And he told me he's like, "No, we agreed on a thousand. I don't care about the money. I don't need the money, but we agreed on a thousand. Who would turn down two hundred extra dollars if they believe they are one thousand percent right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you said you were ninety nine percent right. There's still that one percent, but then you call me and leave me a message and you say, "Well, I'll work with you if she's a Chewini." Suspicious, suspicious. All right, bye, enjoy the video. But the fact that you can treat a dog like that is beyond me, I could never. She's my baby. My 6.6 .6 pound baby, that's what she is. Like I was prepared for her before she got here. She has a collar, a harness, she has food bowls, food, all that. I want her, okay? Keep saying that, oh, you could have gotten more of her, didn't just return her then whatever i don't want to return her i want to pay i want you to give me some of my money back because she's not what i paid for do you see you know what i'm saying yes i paid for a dog but i paid for a specific type of dog i also looked up online how much a chewini it usually it go how much a chewini goes for it said three to six hundred dollars i paid a thousand for her yeah you're giving me half my money back. She's gonna be five hundred. That's what that's what it's gonna be. She's worth a lot more than you to me, but that's what that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna give me, hi baby, I love you. Yes, 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 yes. But yes, you're gonna give me five hundred dollars back because that's not what we agreed upon. He was all well, agreed upon price was a thousand. Yeah. My agreed upon dog was a miniature dachshund, hundred percent. So yeah. Oh, I love you so much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going to happen on Tuesday. I will keep you posted. I've also decided that once I get the test results, I will send the pictures in to that place. And if they come back and say she's not, a, she's a miniature dachshund, I'm going to send them the, um, the results. And I'll have my vet call them and tell them the results because you're not going to get one over on me. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what you're talking about? You should. You're the breeder, right? Yeah. But I make sure she's well taken care of, unlike you. She doesn't walk around my house smelling like feces. She walks around smelling like a dog and ocean ocean breeze 
uh, shampoo for dogs. But I would never let her walk around my house smelling like feces, ever. Okay, I'm sorry for getting a little loud and ranting so much, but this is what's been going on in my life, and I'm very upset about it, and I know a lot of you would too. Anyway, so I'm going to sign off for now. I don't want to yell at you guys anymore. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Love you.